You called it a martyrdom. I had not, I had not thought about that, but in this increasingly hostile age in America, we now have the Supreme court ruling. We now have good standing to believe with what we've seen with bakers and, uh, uh, people who own, uh, uh, reception halls and florist and, and other facilities that there is an assault. There is a targeted assault on Christians. And this assault is, in my opinion, and maybe I'm wrong here, and I don't want to, I don't want to move away. I want to come back to God's provision for you. But in, in my opinion, this, this one is being um, hijacked to a racial, racial issue. But, but you're right, it was a church issue as well. It was a martyrdom of nine Christians. That's right. I mean, if you look at the, everything that had taken place, I mean, here nine African-American uh, Christ followers lost their lives primarily not because they were black and the killer was white, but because they were to gather together at a church. The flag debate, there really was no debate up until two weeks ago. And, and it, in my opinion, I think secular media and those that would capitalize on an opportunity saw this as an opportunity of, right. hey, let's let's put the emphasis on this instead of the emphasis on this happened because of a lack of Christian influence in society. You're absolutely right. And it, it creates a diversion. And rather than dealing with the actual divide that's in the culture, we need, exactly. to, be, we need to be dealing with what, what the attitudes are in the culture. The, the things that they should be concerned about, in my opinion, are a media that really relentlessly pit groups against each other. Um, voters and elect, the elections where they pit voters into blocks against each other. Or the education system that consistently creates a class warfare and an envy system in their children at an early age. Or rappers with their racist rants about rape and everything else. There, there are several things that are feeding into this. But it's not a gun and it's not a flag. I'll just be honest. The young kids, they remember watching uh, the Dukes of Hazard, General Lee. And for them, the flag was a, 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 a symbol of affection for a fun show in some culture known the South. The unfortunate thing is this discussion is now creating a divide and a dialogue that would have died out decades ago had we not brought it up again over this. We're, we're, we're continuing a problem that was actually, I think, literally dying out. Now, I know that there are some who say, I have no idea because I'm not black. That's, I am not black, but racist, in my opinion, racism is uh, from any ethnic group towards another ethnic group, and it's sometimes not just about a color. Yeah, you're exactly right, and that's, that's one of the things that we're seeing. Uh, it's just trying to create something out of something that for the overwhelming majority of the people, it really was not an issue. Uh, but now, because of the smoke and mirrors, because of the distraction that's taking place, it's creating something that... that in all sincerity, in my opinion, as a you know a white pastor from South Carolina who has multi-racial groups in my church, uh, it was not an issue. Uh, but now what we've seen over the last two weeks, that has almost taken all of the attention that should have been focused on these martyrs, should have been focused on their families. Right. And now it's been put on an inanimate object that ultimately had nothing to do with the tragedy. It's the same distraction that the supposed videotape was for Benghazi. Exactly. 